did an unboxing about eight months ago. Link is here if you want to check it out. And I outlined all the features that the helmet has. Um, I never actually put them to use because it wasn't unboxing. We didn't actually go for a test ride, so I didn't get to check any of those features out for you. Stay out. Cats. And so a few comments were made on the video just asking, you know, it's like, is it really a smart helmet if it just plays music and, and, and you can, you know, make phone calls and stuff like that through it? So let's just break this helmet down. We'll um, have a little discussion and we'll see how, the smart, how, this, how this Quinn Design smart helmet fits into the smart helmet category and, um, and see, if you, see if you're vibing on it. So first we'll just have a look at the helmet as it is as a normal helmet, pre-smart. And then we'll look at what classifies it as a smart helmet. And then I'll take you for a ride and we'll just have a little chat about how the thing performs, the wind noise and the, the weight and everything, how it feels and the experiences I've had with it so far. So the Quinn design helmet I'm using is the Quinn Ghost Zero Carbon. And I think it just looks incredible, like straight away. It's just like, man, that helmet does look sick. It looks good in all my photos. It looks good while I'm riding, especially if you're riding a sports bike or something. It just has that real like, like you're gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna carve it up. It's race spec. It's actually race spec. Anyway, I'll get to that. So first off, the first thing you'll notice when you take the helmet out is how light the damn thing is. It's only 2.88 pounds or 1.3 kilograms. And that's with the hardware like in it as well. You're talking like battery, you got your speakers, you got your microphone. That's with it in there and it comes in at 2.8 pounds. Like that's ridiculously light. That's so light. And now when I pick up anything else, like when I pick up my lane splitter, you can see it there. That comes in at three pounds or 1.4 kilograms, which it's not a huge difference, but considering that the Quinn design does have all the tech in it and comes in at less, that is cool. That is cool in itself. It feels amazing. And of course that helps with fatigue. It helps with weight reduction if you actually want to go on the track and, um, you know, shave off those numbers on your, on your times. And of course, the less weight you have in a helmet, the less it's going to hurt your neck, the less you're going to be fatigued and the longer you can ride, which we all know is, you know, that's a... That's a good thing. So the Ghost Zero Carbon just comes in the one color, which is a matte carbon finish with yellow graphics. The inside of it matches the outside, which is nice. It has a quilted lining, which is machine washable. It has a chin curtain underneath to keep all that warm air in in winter, which is handy. A breath deflector. It has a thermoplastic shell with polyester resin and polystyrene lining. Whatever that means, sounds pretty amazing though. The visor is a quick release system. It is scratch resistant, comes with a clear visor, optional black. The one I have is obviously black. And it's like, it's a good black as well. You can't see in, the sun hits your face, boom, you can't see, it's as black as they come. There's a rubber sealed closable vent for the mouth. There's an exit air vent at the rear of the helmet and down the bottom of the helmet as well. It has a quick release micro ratchet system, which is so handy, especially like, you know, usually you're just used to those, the D-links and you, you know, it doesn't take that much longer, I guess, but like just having that ratchet, just smashing it in and pulling the thing out. It's just like, just shaves that little bit of time I've taken off and putting on the helmet. So I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. There's also those magnetic ones. Have you seen these magnetic ones? They just clip, they just clip in and that's it. And then you just pop them off. It is done and ACE certified. Now just for reference, this is an extra large, 61 to 62 centimeters. And to put into perspective, that lane splitter that I have, that's a medium. And the Premier helmet I have as well is a medium. And this suits a long oval shaped head, which is exactly what I have. I've never had, I've never had any hotspots, any pressure points or anything around my head, which has been amazing. And if you go on the website, they do have a sizing guide for you where you can get the tape measure out, measure what you need to, which is what I did, and the helmet came out and it's perfect. It's perfect size, that size chart does work. If you jump on their website as well, they come in different sizes. You have open face ones, you have different you have different styles and everything. I'll run through them quickly. You've got the Quinn MCQ open face, you've got the Nero, the Grigio, and the Blue, and there's the Spitfire, there's the Rosso, and the Nero. And they've just released their Ghost Umbra, which is a, which is a dyed carbon fiber. It gives them like an awesome, two-tone sort of feel to it. Quinn will be releasing a new helmet at the end of summer. It's gonna be a modular carbon style helmet, which has been the number one request. So late summer guys, modular carbon, mmm, tasty, tasty. And they'll be releasing another one in spring next year, 2021. So stay tuned on the website. They'll have all the details and hit them up on Instagram if you wanna see more. And the Quinn Ghost Zero Carbon comes in at 639 US dollars, which is definitely on the affordable side of the spectrum, I feel, with, with this smart helmet thing. I've seen some videos on smart helmets and like they've got like you know just crazy crazy cameras everywhere Cra like camera at the back cameras on the side here they got full hard display you can talk to it you can film you get cameras on the top like it's just ridiculous there's so many cameras now the Quinn design doesn't have any hard it doesn't have any sort of camera tech like that which I think in my experience might be like 
might be better. I don't know how I'd feel about having a visor or a HUD on the inside with all this stuff going on while I'm riding. I don't know if it'd be more dangerous. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually smart or not. So Quinn Design doesn't have all that, that like that, that sort of style tech, but it does have a really cool feature, which is called crash detection technology. The Quinn have developed a sensor. They've called it a Quinn arc sensor. And basically this detects if you've been involved in an accident or not. It detects how hard you've hit something and how hard you've come to a stop. It also detects if you've passed out or not. If you have passed out, a GPS location will be sent to your emergency contacts and then they can sort you out with the help that you need. But in the meantime, the ambulances have already been called and they're already making their way to you. So you're safe. You're safe on both ends. People know where you are. It's all good. There's an SOS beacon function. So let's just say you're cruising and then you're just getting harassed by, you know, this car here, this car here, whatever. There's road rage, there's crazy times. You're, you're witnessing things, something gnarly is happening. You hit the phone, the phone button on the side of your helmet three times, bang, bang, bang. And in 10 seconds time, an emergency beacon will be sent out to your emergency contacts. And then they can just see exactly where you are through GPS. They can contact you. They can make sure you're okay. And this is just, you know, you're just cruising and just bang, bang, bang. And they don't know, they don't know that this stuff's happening, you know? So you sort of, it just makes it a bit safer, especially if it's like, if you're witnessing a crime or if someone's just, you know, if someone's just harassing you or there's road rage, you're safe. You're like, you're safer. It's just good to, it's a nice little function, I think, having that just in case. And then your emergency contacts, they can just phone the police and then like call you while you're still riding, dealing with all the stuff that's going on. So that's, it's just an added bit of security which I think is sick. I think this is what, this is how things should be moving. It's simple, it just works, and like, I don't know why other helmets haven't done this. I don't know, I don't know, they're my thoughts anyway. And then you have all your Bluetooth functions. So you have your Siri Assist, you have your play, pause, volume, up and down, skip, make call, and call. Hey bro. All the cool Bluetooth stuff. There's a micro USB port in the back to charge up. So on a full charge, that'll give you six to eight hours of continual use or 60 plus hours of standby time. Oh. If you're going for longer than, you know, six to eight hour rides, then just bring your battery pack poo, and charge that baby up. A Quinn do have their own app that you can download from their app store. You just register, you type in all your stuff, your phone number, your email and everything like that, just to be updated with all of the new things that they got going on. There are firmware updates for these helmets as well. So you want to be up to date with all that sort of stuff. This is also how you import your emergency contacts into your phone so that when you do or if you do come off it'll just be sent out to those specific people and it also has a feature there it's called looking out for now if you have mates that wear these helmets as well then when they turn their helmet on it'll appear up on your phone which is mad that's just another cool little safety feature that Quinn have just put into this little bad boy and it also has an SOS function there down the bottom right hand corner which I will hit so you see it counting down from 10 seconds, nine, and this is just gonna send a message to my girlfriend, Romina. It's just gonna have the GPS location on Google Maps. Boom. And so now she has just received a notification with my location, which is in the same, she's just, she's just there. She's just behind there. She's gonna be like, there we go. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty cool idea. So that's what happens automatically when you come off or if you hit that SOS beacon, boom, triple tap bad boy on the phone. Location, everything will be sent to her or to other to other people. It's, that's smart. I think that's smart. Don't you think that's smart? I think that's pretty smart. Now there's a new app coming out soon at the end of summer. Now this app is going to have ride analytics. It's gonna have more safety features and um, just more functionality, which is, I'm looking forward to it. I can be pretty cool. So it's gonna have like ride analytics. I think there's like a thing on here. There we go, ride analytics. Coming soon, a comprehensive analysis of your ride with detailed information about every ride. Get alerts for rapid acceleration, aggressive braking, speeding, lean angles, bike and helmet care. <gasps> What? I see. That's cool. That's another cool feature coming out. They're still developing. They're all in the works, baby. They're all in the works and they're working it. They're working it. Mm, I can smell their work just coming through. So divine. Okay, so how do you feel about that so far? What are your thoughts? How do you, is it is it smart enough for you? It might not be smart in the ways of having all the cameras and all that sort of like, I think just upping the safety. I'm pointing at my helmet here. It's just sitting off camera. I think Quinn Design are doing a really good job innovating safety tech in the helmet itself. Like it's hard to believe that there's all this stuff in there and it's like you can, you can't even see any of the wiring and everything. It's just done so well, it's done so tidy. It's, and it's, it's done, I think, on a pretty, pretty reasonable budget as well, 639 US. That's a lot of gear, that's a lot of tech. It's a lot of tech in a helmet. Plus it's just, it's race spec as well. They've got all their, 
I'll list them all. I'll list them all here or something. They got they've got all their you know race spec certifications, so you can use this on the track and um, feel like you're feel like you're an absolute lord. All right, sick. I think that's that's pretty much everything covered with the tech side of thing. Now let's go and uh, test this thing out on the road. All right, here we are. Holy crap, it's cold, and it looks like it's about to pour down rain. So we're gonna smash this out, hey. So the first thing when you put on this helmet, man, it's just the the field of view. I can't see where the visor meets the helmet at all. If you turn, like, <laughs> obviously, if you turn your head, I can see, I can see everything. I can literally. I'm used to riding with open face helmets. That's what I sort of started riding on. And the whole thing turning me off riding with a full face helmet was that, you know, that enclosed feeling that like, I felt like the sense of freedom was gone. Wearing this as like my full proper full face helmet, seeing everything, like being able to see everything compared to even my Premier say, with this, I feel like I can literally, it feels like I'm just wearing an open face again, which is incredible. And also if you're like me and you wear glasses, like I wear prescription glasses, I wear sunnies, some helmets, when you put them on, they dig on the inside of your, your head there. It really pushes against your glasses and your, and your skull, which makes it super uncomfortable very fast. But this, like you slip your, you slip your glasses on, it sort of like lifts the glasses off your face, that tiny little bit, which, which I don't mind. It sort of, it takes them away from any pressure being put on your face, which for me is always, it's always a plus. So the visor ratchet, so there's a, it's a five, five position ratchet um, and it's great so like right now I'm fogging up just a little bit but I'll just crack it and you'll just see that little tiny there's like a, a one and a half centimeter gap I can just fit my finger in there and that's enough to just let all that that you know that hot air out so that works fine the um, the breath deflector helps to to stop you fogging up as well so that's handy and then like yeah you can you can ride with these at any sort of position as well and it's not gonna just like fling open on you or anything like yeah you're pretty you're pretty safe you can see what I mean about the glasses just popping off my face a little bit you can see them they're just off my nose which yeah so I like that I dig that vibe all right I'm gonna close this it's it is hella windy today holy moly and it is it is cold and one thing I forgot to mention was the um the little waterproof control panel here so this thing's super easy to nav you've got your you got your phone call icons. That's what I was talking about when you hit the phone button three times and um, it sends an SOS beacon out to your emergency contacts. So you have your phone call button. That's like your play pause as well. You have your power on off and then you have your up and down arrows. You double tap your app arrow. That's when you have your voice assist like your Siri or your Google. And then if you hold up, that changes the volume higher or lower. And then if you just tap up or down then that skips or repeats your songs. And it's super easy to nab, it's like really easy to reach, you can feel the buttons nicely, they're rubber, great little thing that's there and it's sort of really, it's really slim, like you don't really, it's not really protruding or anything like that, you don't really know it's there, which is nice. So I'm sitting at 80 kilometers an hour right now, I don't know how windy it sort of sounds, I guess with this helmet, there is a little bit of wind noise, it is, I can hear a lot more than I can say in my Premier helmet. And I feel like that has to do with the, the carbon fiber shell being a little bit thinner, a little bit more lightweight. It just, I think lighter weight helmets in general do have a, they, they are a little bit noisier. And so I found that when taking phone calls from zero to 60, it's fine. I can hear the person, they can hear me, it's all good. From say 60 onwards, they can hear me okay, but I can't hear them. And that's what brings me on to the next part is the, the quality of the speakers. So if there's any, if there's one con, I'd have to say about the helmet, it would be the quality of the speakers, but I'm not sure how other speakers sound. I haven't really tested many speakers out with helmets. I could do with a little bit more bass response and a little bit more clarity. If you're like right now, it's quite windy. It's quite a windy day. I'm doing 80 Ks. If I was to play the music, I'll do it right now. So I can just hear that real top end sort of crispiness. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's like definitely no bottom end and I'm a bass player and I'm just like, ah, I, just, I thrive on that bottom end, you know? I wonder if you can hear that. There's just still no bass though. It's really odd. I'd really like to hear a bit more, boom, some bottom end. I guess I could EQ my phone. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't make that much of a difference though. If you know of any awesome helmets that have like really good sound systems, let me know. I'm really keen to hear about them, check them out. And then I'll have something to compare this to. I think the, um, the aerodynamics on this thing as well, I think is actually like pretty incredible. If I'm cruising down the freeway, this is the helmet I'm taking. Just because I found that like, if you keep your head straight, you're just cruising with this helmet 
and you turn your head a little bit, it's sort of just like you feel it just go sook, and then and then you can feel the head, the wind just smashing your the side of your head. But then as soon as you bring it back around, it's like the it just pulls your head back dead straight again. Like it's just cutting through the wind, which is sick. I froth on it. I feel like the vents don't make too much of a difference. Obviously, there is some sort of circulation. I don't feel any pressure on my mouth. I've got everything closed now, just for wind wind reduction with the microphone. If I open it up. That's with it open. I don't know if that changes too much on your on the old mic, but for me, I just I don't know. I can't even I can't feel the wind just hitting my face or anything like that. I can I can't feel the wind hitting uh, my mouth. Yeah, the wind ceiling around the visors are really well done. Like there's no there's no wind leakage or anything like that. Um, the top the top air vents as well. There's top air vents up here. They're, they're open now. And it's not like you can feel anything hitting the top of your head. I think it's just more of just like it's slowly, it just sort of pulls all that that heat out of the helmet, especially on those hot days through those um, two, two exhaust ports at the back there. It's <laughs> Adam. We're gonna we're gonna head back and do some B-roll for you sweet mofos. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get up to a hundred kilometers an hour. And wind is like it's windy against me. So we're like double we're double windy here. Woo! It is windy. Well, that is that. See even like even if I just move my head down a little bit, it just like throws my head around. And then and it locks back in. It's just cutting through the air man. It's so sick. But this helmet for me, it's like this is my go-to if I'm going down the freeway, if I'm if I'm going on a long ride, if it's gonna be raining, this is my go-to helmet. I don't wear it all the time only because it's not an MX style and I like I like the whole goggle feel, it suits the scrambler sort of vibe. But if they come out with an MX style, I'll be I'll be on that. It just it's just a nice it's a nice bit of security. When you're going on a long ride, you're by yourself, it might be raining, you might be in the middle of nowhere, you come off. You know that like you know that people are gonna hear your call even if you're knocked unconscious or something like that. It's cool, it's just such a nice, it's a nice helmet, it's a really thoughtful design. If you want to hit Quinn Design out, check them out, check out their Instagram page, they're very active, so you can shoot them a comment, ask them questions, they'll get back to you promptly with a nice with a nice uh, reply. Thank you so much for the guys at Quinn for sending this out to me. They're not paying me to do any of this, <laughs> just so you know, this is just for you guys. I've been hit up about this helmet a lot. I like a lot because it's uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting helmet, it's a smart helmet. People aren't really up to date with the whole smart helmet vibe. And I think I think it's an it's an incredible helmet. And for 639 US, I think it's worth it. Like personally, I think it is worth it. If you want like a hearty helmet that'll take you that'll take you places, this is the one, baby. This is the one for you. I'm currently looking for Adam. I'm meeting here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do some sick little. We're gonna do some sick B roll. We're gonna get some B roll for the boys. It's a sick spot. Hey, this is Port Botany. What an awesome, awesome location. Like, look at that cargo ship. Are you serious? Let's get a let's get a closer look here. Look at that thing. How the hell, hey? Like that is insane. There was actually one that tipped over up the coast. Literally capsized. Lost all its stuff. And what were on there like surgical masks heaps of surgical masks like that's where they all are they're in the ocean damn it all right guys um i hope you enjoyed that i hope you gained some insight on what a smart helmet is or what this smart helmet is and if it's smart enough for you guys if you think it is smart let me know let me know in the comments if you think this helmet is smart enough for your liking um but yeah that's it that's it for me thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video if you did please hit like hit subscribe if you'd like to see this stuff weekly and um I'll see you in the next video. Peace, legends. Oh, by the way, guys. Smells fantastic inside. <laughs> oh, it smells good. It smells like a Quinn design. It's had the same smell since I bought it. It's a new helmet smell, but it's not new. It's, it's old. It still has a good smell. I like it.